Alright guys, welcome to my YouTube channel guys. So today I'll basically be teaching you guys how you can set up your Fiverr gig the right way, okay? Are you newbie to Fiverr or are you just starting on Fiverr? You don't understand a lot of things on Fiverr guys. Okay, so today I'll be teaching you guys how you can set up your Fiverr gig the right way, okay? I'll be showing you these tricks and the status you guys have to understand in setting up your Fiverr gig the right way, okay guys? So if you know you want to learn this, if you know you want to really get the real tricks to this, aspect of fiber okay guys you just have to stick with me to the end of this video and i'll be showing you guys how you can basically do that if you guys are new if you are new to my channel if this is the first time of coming to my channel guys please i want you guys to subscribe to my youtube channel see the subscribe button here and make sure you turn on the bell notification icon this one that says all okay just make sure you turn on the bell notification icon what that means is that you're gonna be notified whenever i release any video uh, on my channel that is what youtube is gonna do youtube is gonna notify you okay so and you're gonna be the first person to benefit from that video okay guys and then make sure you slash smash the like button and then drop a comment down below and then if you know you don't really understand a lot of things on fiber and then you if you need me to create any video pertaining to fiber okay guys so just also drop the comment down below and i will make that video for you guys okay so without further ado guys let's get right in so guys don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel make sure you turn on the bell notification icon this one that say all and then you'll be notified whenever i release any video on line okay guys so let's just go to one of my accounts on fiverr this is one of my account of fiverr so and then this is the services i render i render brand identity design i render website design um seo logo mockups and a lot of that okay so so but today for the sake of this tutorial i'll be teaching you guys how you can set up your fiverr gig the right way okay so if you don't know the meaning of gig and you don't know what gig means gig simply means the service you render on fiverr gig simply means the service you render on fiverr whether you are an article writer whether you are a um, website designer whatever service it is whether you're a whiteboard animation designer whether you're a virtual varieties name it any 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 skills you have so gig simply means the service the skills you render on fiverr and then these skills there is a way to create them okay there's a way to create them the right way and then there's a way to create them the wrong way okay so if you create them the wrong way guys you are really really missing how it lost so guys so if you want to know the tricks and the statics to get your fiverr gig created the right way you just have to stick with me to the end of this video okay guys so fiverr is very very good okay guys they make it guys people make a lot of money on fiverr and then this account i don't know let me actually check because i don't really use this account but i actually make some few money on this account let me see i was strong my internet connection guys please uh give me a few minutes on that let me check it out sorry about that so guys so um uh, as i said earlier i don't really use this account a lot but i actually make some few dollars in this game i actually make like 88 dollars in this account guys so fiverr is very very possible okay if you're a navy on fiverr just keep doing what you know the best okay and then you're gonna make a lot of money on fiverr so guys so without um wasting much of our time guys i won't actually go into all my other uh, fiverr account to show you guys some uh, things but let's just get right here okay so so what you're gonna do is that just make sure you come to when you log into your account come here to your dashboard you see this place just come here from your dashboard you did the, the, uh, the menus up here in your account just come here to gig okay and i just click on gig and then you take you to you where your gig is so it will show me the bunch of gig i have here um to show me my gig so i just want this to load up so before we proceed we actually create on create a new gig but i actually want this to load up to show you guys so i see that so now these are the gigs actually these are all the services i render on fiverr so and then i want you to understand something that if you're a newbie on fiverr you are only um available to create seven gigs to, to render seven service so you are only allowed to render seven service at least seven gigs if you look at this i only have six here one two three four five six is it seven one two three four five six seven wow i actually don't know it is seven i was thinking probably it is six um okay you know guys for the sake of this story i want to delete one for you guys and then we um uh, just 
I will just delete this and then I will remake it. Okay, so just for you guys, okay. Now I'll remake this. Let's just delete this one. So for the sake of this tutorial, so I will actually show you guys how to do this. I was not actually looking at this place. I'm sorry for that. So okay. Let's see how it goes. So when you're in your fiber account, so make sure you come to gig okay or you can actually when you come to gig then you create you click on create a new gig from this can you see it at your um, left side here uh, sorry your right hand side here so what you have to do or you can also uh, create your gig from your profile just go to profile let's go to profile okay so when you go to profile So when it comes to profile, so you see create a new gig from down the list of the gig you have. So let's click on create a new gig. So when you click on create a new gig, then you're gonna come to your fiber gig dashboard. So, so from here, it will tell you. So now we have gig title, we have category, we have search tag. Okay. So now your gig tag to simply means the service you render you you want to render on fiber for example now the one i delete now is about logo minimalist logo so if your own is about article writing if your own is about web design if you have seo whatever service it is so just come here and then for example what i will do now so and then before you create your gig okay guys let me tell you this so make, come here to switch to buyer. I'll just open this in another tab. So now if the gig is all about logo, just come here and search logo design. Just come to here to Fiverr search engine and, and click on logo design. Just search on logo design. So just click on search. So it will bring the bunch of services, logos design services on Fiverr. So we have our design business logo modern minimalist. I will design a professional business logo. I design a brand identity. I will design a professional business logo with free 3D mockups. I will design all design, design, design. So actually what I want to bring out here is that look at people's titles, okay? use it to form your own title so that you can actually rank on fiverr okay so that's basically what that means so what you're gonna do is that you're gonna look for all this you're gonna look at the title that all these um top um sellers or level two sellers uh they have on fiverr you can see we have this one said i will design business logo modern minimalist i will do a professional business logo and design branding if you should look at it you can see from the title, we can see business logo modern minimalist. Look at this. We have professional business logo design and branding. Okay, we have professional business logo and branding. Uh, sorry, logo with free 3D markers. We have fascinating logo with free version. What I want to point out is that just look at their title, they are similar. Okay, that is just the point. Okay, so when anybody search logo design then it will bring this up simply because they have logo design in their in their in their title can you see they have logo design logo design you have logo you have logo this has logo design again logo design logo design so basically what that means is that this will help their gigs to come up on fiber slash engine whenever anybody search direct on fiber okay and then if you look at this top right here you can see suggested keywords that is that is also the keyword that people are also looking for on Fiverr. Like this, we have minimalist logo design, business logo design, custom logo design, gaming logo design, logo graphic design, and simple logo design. If you look at this, you can see something like minimalist. You can see something like logo design. Look at here, look business. You can see here, I think we have business logo. So what I mean is that that will make their gig, gigs come up on Fiverr search engine. So that will make them to rank, okay, on Fiverr search engine so your title is very very important when you are creating your fiber gigs on fiber so now without without says so let's just go back to our 
um, gigs creation. So, so I haven't seen what others are doing. Just come here and make sure you do yours the right way and the perfect way, similar to what others are doing. For example, I will say I will do a professional, professional logo, professional business. Sorry. Business logo design. That's all. Perfect. I will do a professional logo, a professional business logo design. Professional logo. Sorry, a professional business. Let's see um, the suggested keyword because it is very very important sometimes. If you should use the suggested keyword, guys, you can be around for that. So let's see. We have minimalist business logo designers, customer gaming. Okay, we have simple logo design. You know what? I just I will do a professional simple business logo design. That's perfect, guys. That's actually perfect. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. So now the next step is that we're going to come to our category. Now the category simply means the category where your services falls. So now Fiverr will suggest some category for you, which is graphics and design. Then underscore, then the subcategory we have logo design, graphic design, business card, and stationary, we have graphic design. So it falls under gra graphic design, then subcategory is logo design. Click on that. So we also have to automatically it will bring it up in your subcategory. We have logo design. If you should click on this, it will suggest others for you. But since our categories falls, since our subcategory falls on the logo design, so you're gonna leave it right there. So we'll move right to the next step, which is our gig metadata so gig metadata simply means they selected the type of uh, you select the type of logo you design whether it is not defined to this whether it's not defined or you just can design anything so uh, or you can design just 3d logos with versatile vintage or retro and drawn mouse code or cartoon logo flat or minimalist watercolor any type of logo design you want to design so you can just select your best style or you can leave it as not defined depends on you okay so for this sake of history I'll just put it as flat or not uh, minimalist so then tags search tags search tag is very very important guys so when you are creating your design your or sorry your gigs search tag simply means what people are searching for you know the other time I said we search for logo design and then Fiverr give us suggested keywords that people are searching for that is simply means tags okay that is what people what people are actually searching for people are actually searching for minimalist logo design business logo design custom logo design gaming logo design logo and a lot of um keywords okay let me just open this gig up and show you the tags that this guy used in his gig description and then let me show you the perfect thing to do okay so but we have some perfect um search tag over here so and uh, we're gonna make use of that okay so let me just load them and let me show you some things all right so now let's just imagine that look at this guy this guy has 310 orders in queue this guy must be a killer on fiber and he's selling his a basic plan for 15 dollars standard plan for 40 and then premium for 80 oh my god this guy's actually need a lot of money on fiber and this guy's a level 2 seller jesus christ so let's just go right down let's go right down um Let's go look down. So you can see right here. Yes, like, look at this guy. Related to this guy has logo design, real estate logo, minimalist logo, minimalist logo, business logo. These are the tags that this guy actually use on his gigs on Fiverr. So he actually use all these tags, okay? And you can actually use them too. It's not crime for that. So let's just go back to our gig creation. So you can come here. We can put logo design. Sorry, I'm coming up for logo design. Logo design. You can enter. You are only available to put five search tags, okay? And then next we can put business, business logo. Uh, is it there? No. Business. Let's put business logo. Business logo. We will click enter. Then the next one can be custom logo. Custom logo. Can you see? Is that ready? You can 
look at the guys um minimalist logo I just put it there minimalist 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 logo click on enter how many is that that's four so we have one left and can put something like let's look for the suggested tag that um, fiber suggested for us um, 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 um okay minimalist simple logo design we can just put that simple logo okay can put on a simple logo simple simple logo click on enter then you click on save and continue then you move to the next step which is pricing okay so we're gonna move to the next step which is pricing So let's just wait for that to load up so we can continue with our gig creation. So um, when you are in the next part of the gig creation, which is a scope and pricing, okay? So in this package, we simply have the basic, the standard, and the premium. What that means is that you are only eligible to put your services based on three packages. That is, you can you, you're gonna set your basic package for your logo design you're gonna set your standard package for your logo design and you're gonna set your premium package for your logo design so now what that means is that if you set your basic uh, package for your logo design this can be like um probably fifteen dollar why this is usually why this can be twenty dollars why this can be fifty dollars okay let's look at this guy we should look at this guy uh package in his basic package you sell basic package for a professional business logo Plus I regulations far, so it said that for fifteen dollars. If you should look at the description, right? The description of the package we have two initial concepts included. Source file is not included. Logo transparency is included. I resolution is included, but social media kit is not included. Vector file is not included. But if you look at the standard package, the standard package is set up for forty dollars, and then three quality logo for you to choose the ones to go with. Plus vector. And then he has all these formats PNG, JPEG, PDF, and EPS has uh, five formats. And the next one, and then you should look at the description right here. He has um, three niche concepts included source file, local transparency, high resolution, and then vector file. And then the last one, so which is the premium package, he has is it, it, given that for $80, and then he has three logo. For you to choose the one to go with all extra file needed plus extra support and then all the descriptions are available okay so that's basically what the basic the standard and the premium is all about so what you're gonna do is that you can just come here so what you're gonna do is that we come here to our basic the standard and the premium so so we're gonna set that so all right guys so what you basically so what you're gonna do here is that so as i have explained earlier the basic the standard and the premium so for the basic now so i just put basic back here put standard back here and i put premium back here then for the specifications of the type of service gonna be random fiber so we have local icon for example under the basic we have the logo plus icon under the standard we have three logo plus icon and under the premium we have standard plus social media kit okay so now the um numbers of delivery sorry the, the, the days of delivery so it depends on how first and how um, consistent you are and how perfect you have with designing so you can just put it depends on you you can put one day uh, if you know it because you can put two days and for the uh, premium you can put two days also depends on you as I've said so for the revision so revision you can put probably um, if you if you don't want to uh, add uh, give the client any revision under the basic you can leave it as select then under the um, premium sorry under the standard you can give the client probably like two revision but um, under the sorry ah oh, sorry much I selected wrong um, so you can put it as uh, but for for beginners, I, I would recommend you put this unlimited, okay? Because that will actually give you an um, some kind of privilege to order purpose on fiber, okay? And then for initial conception, you decide to leave this and select two for this. Then you can select five for this. For source file, you can decide not to keep them source file under the basic. You can give them source file under the standard and the premium. 
and then logo transparency I decided to give them logo transparency it depends on you but for a starter for a newbie on five I would recommend you leave everything available okay that give you a higher um, chance to get to win more clients to you okay 3d more cups can give them that give them three more cup um, stationary design I, I recommend you leave that you can give them for the standard and premium so basically just select the requirement over here so that is that then the price the price is very very important for a starter just put it as five dollar okay and as time goes on when you when you get more clients then you can increase that okay so uh I'll just uncheck all these extra service just gonna uncheck that just gonna uncheck that then save and continue then we'll move to the next steps as i have said earlier that we have um six steps to complete to create our gigs okay so we have now we're moving next one to the description description simply means um the service sorry the the, the um the requirement or uh, let me say some some uh, some explanation pertaining to your uh, service on fiverr so what we're going to do is that we're going to just look for descriptions of us of someone on fiverr we're going to use that but i don't recommend you copy someone else descriptions in your gig okay this gig i'm still going to re-edit it just for the sake of this tutorial okay so so to save us more time i will actually copy someone else description so that we can be fast with that i don't want to keep you guys waiting we have a lot of things to do okay so so let's just let me just open this guy gigs and then you can copy the guy descriptions and make use of it so make sure when you are describing your gig make sure you describe everything in a detail very very detail so that your clients can understand what they've been getting from your service uh the requirements what you uh what you what you need from them and everything so as you have seen as you have see here down uh, downside here you can see that fiverr said we have 1200 characters to write okay so make sure you stick to that and then if you have um some questions that your uh, buyers will kind of like probably they will have like to ask you you can just add them under the facts okay so, so let's check this out and let's see what we hear so let's see that so basically that's what you're going to be doing let me um let me just put this is this guy descriptions so let me just copy this so make sure you can look other people's descriptions just to write your own descriptions okay so i don't recommend you copy others description please please i don't recommend that please just for the sake of this tutorial please don't copy someone else descriptions okay just look for what they, just look at, at what they write and then you can use it for your gig okay Please don't copy someone else's description. Okay, I know some people that's what they do actually. They just copy someone's description and then mix it with. Of course, you can you can mix it with someone else's description, but just try just try editing it. Okay, so at least it's different. <laughs> There's some people they will copy and copy the name of the person. Imagine that. So please just um, make sure you. Uh, this is for your own good. Okay, so just save and continue. Then we'll move to the next step. Which is um requirement. Move to the next step. Requirement. So requirement simply means what you require from your buyer so that for for you to start the job, okay? For you to start any of the project they're giving you. So let's see. So under the requirement, your connection is unable. Please refresh. Sorry about that. Let me just refresh this. Okay, I think it's coming up. It's coming up. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, I think it's coming up. So, just for example, via uh, logo design, you can ask um, the clients to uh, to provide some certain thing you will need from them. The name of the business, any niche, the niche in which the business is, um, whether it is in a health niche. So you know the kind of logo to design. For the client okay that's basically what that means okay that's basically what that means so let's just wait for this to load up guys please so guys if you know you're really really um gain at least something from what i've been teaching you guys please subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the bell notification icon and drop a comment down below guys 
okay so this makes me that people really engage in my video and then prompts me up to create more videos for you guys so just make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel turn on the bell notification icon share this video with your friends okay of course it doesn't do you anything just share with your friends and let them also gain from it okay and then more videos to come on fiverr so just stick with me on, on this channel so if you subscribe just make sure you turn on the bell notification icon so that you'll be notified whenever i release some awesome videos on youtube okay so you'll be the first person to what to enjoy my video cool right so just move to the comment section now okay so here we are okay so i'm moving to the requirement section now so you can just tell your clients that um you need so you just add an equation so you can just say for example you can just say send me a text that's basically what i do put there so that when they send me a text so we we'll discuss i prefer that than listing all the requirement down because some actually don't know what to provide so i just put that send me a text so whenever they order any of my gig they will see this send me a text so when they send me a text we we'll discuss and then i go uh on with the project that's simply what i mean then you have to use a graphics some graphics that depict what you are offering on fiverr okay logo design look for a logo graphics okay so by the sake of this video, let me just look if you can see any um the graphics any design that we can use on our gig see that let's check that around Okay, so let me let me just choose any and look let, 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 let's use this one. Oh, let's see, let's see. Okay, let me just use. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just use this. So when you are done with that, so this will load up now. You see this? It will load up. So come on, it will load up now. So when it load up, can you see is there? So you are you you can put three you are you are allowed to put three image okay three image then if you also have videos okay maybe video of yourself uh telling your client or telling people what you offer on, on fiber so you can put your video here then if it is image you can put it here you are only available to put three image and then if you have any audio explaining your service you can put it there then you have any pdf of previous work you have done you can put it here so when you're done with that just click on agree then continue so continue to publish your gig which is the last step so almost there let's publish your gig and get some bass rolling in so publish gig then you're done guys so so when you publish that and done then all is perfectly and mm, then you're good to go guys so let's just preview what we have been doing since morning let's see what we got okay so okay, i'll be showing i'll be showing i'll be showing guys let's see let's see let's see so guys that is basically how you create your gig on fiverr it is exact the same step step uh for you to create the, the rest gig okay so no matter any gig you want to create on fiverr that is exact same step you're going to follow to create your gig on fiverr so this is the gig here to be in the top first one is it do a professional simple business logo design as we have given the title in a tutorial earlier so you're gonna see it now so let me just show you guys so guys subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the bell notification icon and don't forget to leave a comment and smash that like button guys okay so because if you don't we're not gonna roll guys okay you know you know, you know how will go eh? so that is how can you see i will do a professional simple business logo can you see the title can you see the category it is very very important graphic design and subcategory logo design can you see our package over here our basic standard and premium on our basic we offer our logo our plus icon so our packages these are all the requirements for standard and then for premium okay so and then this is the gig uh, um, description and then this is the um, uh, the style you selected the other time and then this is your um, sorry this is um, your uh, uh, at least a little bit of introduction about yourself where you're from another 
So this is the tag that I was talking about. You can see related tag. So basically, that is how you create your fiber gig, and that is how you get buyers rolling in, rolling in, rolling in in your account. So guys, if you really, really get some all the value from my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the bell notification icon, like, smash that like button. Okay, guys. So with this. I want people are actually engaging my video and then this prompt me to create more video for you guys in the future. More videos still coming on Fiverr. So guys, if you know you don't really understand a specific aspect of Fiverr, just drop it down in the comment below and I'm gonna make a video on that and send it to you guys. Thank you very much guys. Bye now.